Welcome to the Shaggy Shane Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the trade is in. It's official. Marcus Peters was traded for a fourth round draft pick in this year's draft and a second round draft pick in next year's draft. Bad freaking business for a stud corner, 25 years old, who's had no off the field issues, has been great in the community and a great teammate. There better be, there better be some dirt that comes out on Marcus Peters by March 14th. The Chiefs can't discuss this deal until March 14th, but once March 14th comes out, a story better break that Marcus Peters had an issue with a coach, a teammate, someone, because this is bad business to trade Marcus Peters for only a fourth round draft pick and a second round draft pick next year. It's bad business, folks. I said last Saturday that it's dark days. We got to look forward to the good times and the, we got an awesome stud quarter, franchise quarterback to look forward to. But it's bad business to give away a shutdown corner in his prime of his career. Marcus Peters is going to play 16 games next season for the Los Angeles Rams. But back to my point, there better be dirt that's revealed on Marcus Peters March 14th because if this has anything to do with the national anthem, then what it's going to do going forward is it's going to set a precedent that you can't stand up for what you believe in. You can't, you can't take a knee if you play for the Kansas City Chiefs, if that's what this is indeed about. It's going to say, you know what? I'm a, to athletes that are about to enter their third year in the league, if they believe in something, if they believe, you know what? I, I feel like I should take a knee for racial injustice. You know what? I feel like I should take a knee for this. If that's what this is about, uh, that's going to that's be sad. That's going to be sad because a lot of these players have stuff that they believe in. And if Marcus Peters is let go because of that, that's completely unacceptable, completely unacceptable. Because Marcus Peters was, like I said, great in the community. He's gonna go to the Los Angeles Rams and continue his Hall of Fame career. And all the Chiefs got for that in return was a second round draft pick in next year's draft and only a fourth in this. Bad business, Clark. That's bad business. Like I said, I'm going to give you till uh, many of Chiefs Kingdom are going to give you till March 14th to come out and say, why in the hell would you give away a player in his prime for only a fourth and a second round draft pick? Hell, you got to give up a sixth round draft pick. Again, this better be about an issue in the locker room or an issue with a coach. Because if this had anything to do with the national anthem, that's completely unacceptable. Because like I said, there's going to be players that are going to feel like, you know what? I'm going to take a knee because I believe in this. And if Clark Hunt doesn't like it, then trade me to Los Angeles. Marcus Peters is in Los Angeles. He's going to play all 16 games next year. Again, March 14th, Arrowhead, Clark Hunt, you owe Chiefs Kingdom some answers because this was bad business. You gave away your best defensive player for nothing. This is Shaggy Shane. Until next time, go Chiefs.